Hello Deckers, how are you? Liam here. I have a bit of an update for you on Linux gaming as a whole and how the Steam Deck is actually doing. Thanks to the latest Steam hardware and software survey, we have some fresh data on everything. For those that don't know, the hardware and software survey is a little pop-up that you might see once a month or so asking you to send over your computer data to Valve. Not everyone sees this, of course. It is a survey. It does random sampling. Well, it's supposed to be somewhat random anyway. Taking a look over at October's data that's just come out, it reveals some pretty fun facts. For starters, Linux is at the highest user share on Steam in over four years now. It's at 1.28%. Really, that doesn't sound like much, but to put it into perspective, that's possibly around the 1.7 million monthly active user mark, which is based on the 132 million monthly active figure Valve gave out back in March. This is something I'm tracking on a dedicated page, which I'll link in the description. Now, diving a little bit deeper into the data and filtering it just to Linux, we can see that the most popular Linux distribution is in fact SteamOS at 24.98%. So it's mightily clear at this point that the Steam Deck is in the driving seat for Linux gaming as a whole. A little disclaimer here though, there is the other category that could be a bunch of older Ubuntu releases that when added up have the possibility to be higher than SteamOS, but we can't know that for sure, so on a clear face value of this list, SteamOS is the winner, and the gap between SteamOS and other Linux distributions only seem to be getting wider. It's also fun to see this because it also clearly shows, despite what some people might tell you, that Ubuntu itself is also still clearly hugely popular with Linux gamers on their desktops and laptops. I do constantly see a lot of people hating on the company Canonical who make Ubuntu, but as usual, it's just a few people being loud. The data speaks for itself. Looking at the GPU data, the Steam Deck's custom AMD GPU is also the most used single system by a wide margin here, with the GPU sat firmly at the top with 25.01%. It's clearly popular and anyone saying otherwise at this point is either plain ignorant to the facts or just a dummy. Now if you're interested to know how many people have decided to put Windows on it, well an interesting indicator here is looking at the Windows only data. When you look in the GPU section, the Steam Deck GPU still doesn't even show up. So right now, it certainly seems like the vast majority on Steam Deck are still sticking with SteamOS. So Valve has done a good job overall on the experience there. As a fun bit of added info for you here, it appears that Valve might finally be starting to work towards the public release of SteamOS 3 for more devices. The people over at Steam Deck HQ got a tip that in Valve's code repository, they had an update for the SteamOS media creation tool, which allows you to burn an ISO of SteamOS itself to something like a USB stick. And this was updated on October 25th. It doesn't mean it's ready and it doesn't mean it will come soon, but it seems that someone at Valve has started working on it at least. Anyway, what do you think about all this? Do let me know in the comments. As usual, I value all your feedback and I'll see you later.